And we have two teams that have different aspirations leading on from this Basketball Champions League regular season. The home team, Dijon, are hoping with a win to get through to the FIBA Europe Cup and Jerusalem will be finishing first or second, depending on what happens here tonight. Bamberg play Nimberg, Fenlabrada, Lichtabilis and Eich will be playing at home and if they win, they win the group. If they lose and Jerusalem win here, Jerusalem will win the group. It's the top four from each of the four groups of the Basketball Champions League regular season that will make up the round of 16. But of course, if you win your group, you'll play somebody that finished, a team that finished fourth in an adjoining group. All the four teams we know have qualified. It's just about where. So Dijon with a win uh, will qualify this evening. Game day seven was uh, the last time these two teams met. And Jerusalem were the victors. They are the number one in all the main category categories during this season. They have some outstanding players. Amari Stoudemire, of course, an NBA All-Star. Uh, Iliahu, the captain. And someone they are missing is Tamir Blatt, who will be a big loss for them. He's their assist leader. It's been massive for them and the Israeli national team this season. But they do have James Feldin, who's their top scorer, and third in assists. They have Tashon Thomas, who is back after a three-month suspension. And he's up there in the main categories, third in points, third in rebounds. Dijon, the home team. Look out for La Loop and Holston. Emigano, the Nigerian international. Gavin Ware is putting up good numbers. And Axel Julian, the French international, averaging 8.4 points a game. And 5.4 assists a game. He's number one for Dijon. So, the Israeli team, Hapol Jerusalem, who are currently third in the Israeli league, just one game behind Yuna Halon, who are leading the league. There's Jacobin Brown and Maccabi Tel Aviv is in between those two teams. Halon went out last night. It's been so close for some of the spots, especially the to get in third and fourth. So close, and there's been head to heads. Yeah. Last night I was commentating on games where teams, three teams finished on the same record and uh, it's just proved to be a fantastic regular season and I'm sure this game will again bring us top quality entertainment and right off the bat it's top quality players. One of the best players to come out of the NBA came across to Jerusalem, his part ownership with the club, has played in the Euro Cup with Jerusalem Took some time out to play some three on three, and now he's back. Our team are and Yoga Ohion. They pulled him across from Maccabi Tel Aviv. He's a big time player. They signed in on a three year contract. James Feldine to Sean Butler. Feldine is just top quality this season. Number one in points, number two in assists for this team. And Jacobin Brown. Previously played at Pina Kasiaka with Josh Owens. So they will team up again. And Jacobin Brown will make the Greek Cup semi finals with Ike. As well, so lots of quality led by Stoudemire. Black will be a massive miss because they are number one in assists in this league. They're number one in points at 90.8. They're first in rebounds at 42.8.
And first in assist, 22.9, Tamir Black. There's a massive reason for that. Now, our attention turns to the host, Dijon. They will want to go into the FIBA Europe Cup in the fifth spot. They won't want to be slipping up. And dropping a couple of places, as we saw with Avellino last night. They lost and went from third to fifth and missed out on Champions League regular season. Round of 16, qualifying from the round regular season for the round of 16. So Dijon. They're in the quarter-finals of their domestic cup in the Leaders' Cup in Strasbourg. They lost to the weekend against Pau Tez. They're fourth in the G Polite French Pro A League. They're with a record of 11 and 8. But their main concern tonight, as the bubbly is handed out before the game, which is. Uh, is a nice touch between the coaches. There's our three referees, Thomas Jasevicius from Lithuania, Radomir Ojanovic from Montenegro and Zinko Tomasovic from Slovakia. Just moments away from the start of this game and now Jerusalem being number one in the main three categories as a team statistically. They can almost potentially, also potentially set new regular season records. They need 13 points to become the highest scoring team. One of the reasons for that is James Felding, who's starting along with Sean Butler, Tayshawn Thomas, who's back after the suspension, Yoga Vahayan and Josh Owens. Athletic, powerful, dominant player, Josh Owens. Be looking forward to see him tonight. They need 18 field goals. They need to ass 28 assists as we look at Oded Kates, who is the Jerusalem head coach. He's also the Israeli senior national team coach. He's won the EuroLeague with Panathinaikos in 2000, and he was the leading Eurobasket 1997 edition point scorer as well. So he's been an absolute star as a player and as a coach, and he was on four Israeli leagues with Maccabi Tel Aviv as well. The Dijon head coach, Lauren Lignamy, he was a player with Toulon, uh, an all-star a number of times, and some of the previous clubs for his, this team now were at Toulon. It's Holston, Emigano, Julian Pearson and Chassang. Oh, the starting five for Dijon. They've got to slow this Jerusalem juggernaut down, but not seeing Tamir Blatt on the other side of the court. Even though he's only 21 years old, Tamir Blatt, he has been a massive influence on this Hapol Jerusalem team. Coming across from Hapol Holon, but he's not here tonight. So Jerusalem will find another way to win. And if Ike lose, they win this group. atmosphere here is extraordinary in the Palais de Sport, Jean-Michael Geoffroy in Dijon. The crowd loving it. Top quality European basketball. The regular season is coming to an end. We've already had some thrillers yesterday and there's thrillers going on or just finishing from the early games all the games are played as much as possible at the same time tipping off at the same time so there's no teams that play later and know what the results are previously and know exactly what they have to do so you have jerusalem with two israeli championships one euro cup Four Israeli State Cups, four Israeli League Cups versus Dijon, two French Cups and one match to champions. But they're both doing well in their domestic leagues. And as I say, Dijon are in the quarterfinals due to play Strasbourg. In the 
quarterfinals of the Leaders' Cup in France. David Holston. There's Pearson, Ryan Pearson from Far Rockaway, New York College. George Mason are just having a presentation at centre court. It's been a throw of the ball. Um, see some dignitaries, some people have a connection with Dijon and a yeah, photo opportunity there for the club. So we are just about underway. It's second placed Jerusalem versus fifth place Dijon. It's the final game day, game day 14 of the Basketball Champions League being brought to you on livebasketball.tv. Do download the Basketball Champions League app. It's free, only take a few seconds, and then you have access to all the highlights, all the, the excellent articles, podcast each week, and some basketball just like that. As James Felding gets proceedings underway with a three, averaging 16.3 points a game. 38.4% from behind the arc. Holston, baseline. Nice pass, but no way through there. Emigano, Holston. Axel Julio. Pearson and Chassang in for Dijon. Shot clock expires to Sean Thomas with the rebound. So Stoudemire will come off the bench today, which is quite a, a positive thing for Coach Katash. Having all that experience if and when required. And there's a turnover. And here comes Dijon and Holston finishes. Fielding wasn't able to get across. And that sloppy play there from Ohio. Took his eye off the ball on the catch. Shots up. Fielding with a rebound. Jerusalem in red, Dijon in white. If you're just joining us on livebasketball.tv, it's the final game day of the Basketball Champions League, the third edition of this tournament. And Jerusalem, here with a win and with a night loss, will win the group and go forward to the round of 16. To Sean Thomas, number 35, knocking down the mid-range jump shot. 5-2 Jerusalem lead. And Magano. Nigerian international, played in the World Cup qualifiers, as has Axel Julien. Nothing doing there. Alexandra Chisang, no good on that effort. Right across court, shots up and is good. What a pass. And the make by Deshaun Butler, that's a super assist by Felding, who is number two on assists in this team, and that is why. Axel Julian. And missed, what you're saying there. And Jerusalem, great pass ahead. Aha, uh -huh, using all his experience in his time. Maccabi Tel Aviv. But 
Dijon get to the basket, nice. Move inside there from Emigano. And a beautiful back door bounce pass. Owens hands off. Feldin loses it momentarily. To Sean Butler. Pulls up for three, it's nothing at all. There, just air ball. Holston to XL Julian. Knocked away. Retained by Pearson. Pearson left handed. Good. Ryan Pearson. Averaging 8.5 points a game in his 11 games in the Basket Champions League. Regular season, extra pass, shots up, and it's long. Good rebound by Deshaun Butler. Good again. Deshaun Butler getting hot early on here. Jerusalem lead by seven, just doing what they need to do. Win the game, simple as that. 71% from the field. Deep shot is up by Holston, no good. Deshaun Butler. Feldin with the pass there, or he's knocked loose and went to Deshaun Butler. A high on, still a high on, still a high on. Back to the same corner. Different player, same results. And Stoudemire enjoyed that one. Open shot for Pearson is good. Owens decides not to shoot. Here's another open three, and they knock it down. And we could be heading for a Dijon timeout. If there's any more damage, calls from behind the arc. Butler again. Emigano to Holston. What can he create? High screen by Pearson. Pearson hit in the face. Delayed reaction. And here he is, Amari Stoudemire. Holston, guarded by her heart. Now Bartimor is on. Shots up and it's good. Katas has seen enough. Three turnovers for Jerusalem. Sloppy. Gavin Ware is in with the headband for Dijon. Holston. Pearson with the high screen. Sean Butler. On the defence, Pearson off the glass, and it's good. Good job by the lefty. 
8.5 points a game. And he's 71.9% oh. from the free throw line. And we're going to find out how good he feels tonight from the line. Seymour with the first foul. Butler takes a seat. And nothing but strength. And Dijon creeping their way back into the game against this highly talented Apple Jerusalem team. Stugemeyer. Gets inside position, but no, no joy with the rebound there. As Gavin Ware brings it down. Holston inside to where great spin, beautiful move. And Jacobin Brown couldn't deal with that. He turned away from Ware, who spun baseline, and a quick finish before the help could come. Felding, three point lead for the visitors. Sean Thomas inside, yes, extra pass. Great ball movement to Sean Thomas. Big, strong man move there. Getting the rebound. Former Houston and Oklahoma graduate. And Pearson getting what he wants up against the smaller Yogev Ohio. Over Brown to a high of Bartimo. Excuse me. Felden with the step back is off and short left. Holston with the rebound. Smallest player on the court, but playing well until that moment. Timor with the right handed reverse. Pearson, no good that time, but Ware helps him out, and he helps him out really well. Gets the offensive rebound, they've got to outwork, or try and outwork Jerusalem, make them play at their absolute limit, energy and effort-wise. Still a three-point lead, inside, back, beautiful pass over the top from Studemite. So Sean Thomas just kept moving. Executed between Thomas and Studemeyer. Pearson, and he's fouled by Jacobin Brown. Thomas comes out. Coach McName, just giving some information out there. Pearson on 10 points. At 11. Coven Brown moving the ball beautifully and Iliahu always has got his head up the veteran sees over the defense catch pass slam don't need to dribble you young players Keep the ball up, head up, good things will happen. Pearson, that's a different way of getting the same job done. And one on one, pulling up before the help comes. Stoddermeyer turns right on the buzzer, right at the end of the first quarter. Amari Stoddermeyer in control, steps in. That is a turnaround, a little bit of fade, and he knew what the clock was doing. End of the first quarter here in Dijon. 
And Jerusalem lead by six, 23 to 29. 29 points. Hey, he's going There's the game statistics. Pick out what you, what you wish, but 88% from two, 56% from three. Quite extraordinary. They are number one in points, number one in assists, number one in rebounds in this Basketball Champions League. Some of the they shoot 38.5% as a team from behind the arc, 52.6 for two pointers. Do Jerusalem, but they're just sharing the ball beautifully. And even without Tamir Black, they've got 10 assists in that quarter. They are going for the record. They must be aware of some of these records. They need a lot of assists. They need 28 assists to become the highest assists team in regular season basketball Champions League history. If they grab 29 offensive rebounds, they would have they would be number one in that category over the three regular seasons of the Basketball Champions League. And for total rebounds, defensive and offensive, they only need 15. So points scored is definitely going to be achieved. I think they can make 18 field goals and grab 15 rebounds, defensive or offensive. But uh, to get 28 assists would be quite a mark. We'll see how they go. We'll see how they play this out for the next three quarters. Jerusalem by six. We'll keep an eye on the Ike game as well for you. As there's a turnover. And our team all gets the score. Ike are leading by 10 at Antwerp. Remember, Antwerp and Bamberg and Ike and Jerusalem have all qualified. It's only Ike and Jerusalem that can switch places at number one and two. Dijon at the moment, and Stoudemire fouled as he made a move on the baseline there. As I said at the top of the commentary, if Dijon win, they will go into the FIBA Europe Cup. If they lose, FIBA Europe Cup is fifth and sixth in the group. If they lose, they could end up dropping down to seventh, depending on other results on teams direct with teams directly below them, Nimberg and Victor Bellis. Stoudemire, 75.8% from the free throw line. Double team there, as he will be often, but he get, makes the right decisions. And he has done for many years, and great to see him in the returning to Apol Jerusalem and playing in the Champions League this year. And Emigano knocks it down, the Nigerian international. Averaging 8.3 points a game in the Barcelona Champions League this year. All alone for a mid-range jump shot, no hesitation. Bar Timor. La Loupe. La Loupe for three is just off. Stoudemire with another rebound. He's number two on rebounds on this team, but that's another turnover. What can Dijon make for, out of this? Pull up, short, jump shot, just in between hitting the bank shot and swishing it. And hit the back of the iron in the end. Eliyahu hands it off to Jacobin Brown. Eliyahu, look, always head up, great back cut, extra pass, shots up, and is good for three, off another direct assist, catch and shoot. And Deshaun Butler is flying, he's on 12 points, 80% from the field. 
Four or five from three. That's all he's taken. No two pointers. Emigano takes a seat. Bartimor takes a seat. Jerusalem just having to tweak their their rotation with Platt, with Blatt out of the lineup. But again, will always be positives. Other players will step up. Very experienced players within this Jerusalem setup. As you can see, no problems at all with the scoring output and the assist output today. They just want to tighten up on the turnovers. Four turnovers to Jerusalem, just two turnovers for Dijon. Four point four seconds remaining on the shot clock. And there's a kick ball by Josh Owens. Making it difficult, difficult as he can, and the loop's done really well to keep that in. But Jacob and Brown and Josh Owens play together at Pinakas Pinakasiaka previously. Basketball Champions League made the quarterfinals that year in 2016 17. And another whistle. And yeah, good attack there. Had the bigger Stoudemire playing defense on the ball there. Weber is in the game for Dijon. And again. A good effort by Stoudemire. He's moved his feet, but no call. Thirty-eight twenty-five, the lead here for Hapoel Jerusalem. Shots up oh, and in and out, and a tip rebound between Owings and Jacobin Brown. Jacobin Brown ends up with it securely. Stoudemire drives, still got it, and blocked by Abdullah Loom. Stoudemire asking for the goaltend. They just get another 15 seconds. Bounce pass, Stoudemire, extra pass. The push shot from Eliyahu. That is a thing of beauty when it goes in. Watch this. Catch. And his right foot is slightly behind his left. With a regular jump shot, your feet are going to be level or your right foot will be slightly ahead for the right-handers and he just catches it leaves his feet where they are and it's a quick push and release but it's great it's a great uh, shooting motion it's only the footwork that's different time out dijon after one one switch all the script okay on pick and roll you are too late don't close the paint, it's too fast. Change to the pick and roll. That's the extraordinary statistics for Jerusalem. 60% from three, 90% from two. 13 assists. So rebounds as well. Dijon have only achieved four rebounds so far. Jerusalem have 12. So, Laurent, big name. 
There's a lot on his mind here to try and get back into this game, try and live with the high-octane offence and activity of Hapoel Jerusalem. River to where? Excuse me, to Loom. Weber. Good hands by Butler. Butler's really playing well. He's been in the G, G League in the NBA. Rata Farmelm as well. Jump shot is long. Owens with the rebound. He is the number one rebounder for Apple Jerusalem this season in the Basketball Champions League. Jacob and Brown. He's number two in assists at 4.5. Butler, Brown, Stoudemire, shot clock running down through the double team. Little jump shot is good. That's tricky and very clever by the former NBA All-Star. He's up to eight points, 100% from the field. He only shoots from very close in. Inside the key or just outside, no further. Weber. Shot the clock is running down. It's, they've got to throw it up, and right on the buzzer is good! Great patience. And Axel Julian with another assist. To Louis Weber. Stoudemire at the top. Hands it off, nearly loses it. And he does now, that would have been, should have been a back cut, really. And Dijon will finish and will get fouled. Abdelay Loom, Jerusalem just seem to stop playing. Let's see if, how far back we can get, take the replay, but behind the back. If they hadn't have scored there, coach would not have been happy, four against one. But Stoudemire was really sloppy. He was dribbling towards the sideline. The defence was playing really high. Surprised the Jerusalem player didn't back up into all the space between him and the basket, but Stoudemire ended up just turning it over. Boom, two points. 7.5 points per game average. He's long on the free throw, but he's 55% from that mark. So not to be expected that he's going to make all his free throws for a vast majority of them and Yogev Ohayan is fouled Chasang It's time out here in Dijon. Halfway through the second quarter. Let's listen in. If you don't get them, don't just stay. Just cut. If you don't get them, probably they denied it. Cut, create separation, and come again. We run now five sides. There's the three-point confirmation, 60% from three points for Jerusalem. Just two of seven for Dijon. 13 assists to six, five turnovers to, to two turnovers. For Jerusalem, Jerusalem just got to take care of the ball and they just turned it over again there, involving Stoudemire. That's what happens when the centre, where the big guy decides to decides to handle the ball, or well, sometimes anyway. Can end in a turnover. So I hope you're enjoying the coverage here on LiveBasketball.tv. All the Basketball Champions League regular season has been covered from October. These are the last games on the on game day 14, on the second day of game day 14. Group C and D today. So that's 
12 point lead for Jerusalem. Shots up from the corner is short. And that was Stoudemire in range, at range. Weber. Loom with the pick and pick and he rolled but not used. Axel Julian back to Weber, same spot. Just comes out, but it was a good look. And Owens with another rebound. Feldin back in. Attack off the dribble by Thomas, who goes all the way and powers his way to the hoop. The third top scorer on the Jerusalem team at 12 points per game. He's played 10 of the Basketball Champions League games this season. Floats are too hard by Julian off the glass there. And another turnover to Sean Thomas. Bloom, he's now handling it. Eurostep off the glass is good. Abdullahi Loom. French league champion with Shalon in 2017. Now with Dijon, and that's a really good effort by the big fella. At six foot ten. And he's trying to block Feldin's shot, but no, no good there. He just was a touch late. And Jerusalem keep Dijon at bay. Dribble weave action, the loop wide open off the dribble, misses. Shishang, now he's going to try for three. He misses. Good rotation on the shot, but a touch flat. Alexandre Shishang. Just a bit of frustration there. They had two really good looks there. And the loop called for the blocking foul. Pearson back in for Dijon. Baseline drive is good from Yogif Ohayon. Really smart, quick reaction play there. Holston against Ohayon. running down oh that's a really good move great balance and core strength from Louis Weber going across his body as well going left and shooting right and that's a good sign and Timor gets his third foul could be a problem with the guard rotation with Blatt not being here short move with the rebound he's really starting to have a positive influence on the game for Dijon screen coming from Lou not used Pearson Holston on the move Pearson pulls up for two is short good defense by Tashon Thomas making himself big and getting an outstretched hand to the shot Owens what can he do down low back out High on going baseline, too strong. A loop behind the back. Options. And Loom just couldn't finish. Well, that's great running by Dijon. Great intent. And positive energy. The loop with the bounce pass. The handback by Weber. And the Loom just couldn't hang in the air long enough. We'll get enough ele elevation to finish over the top of the hoop. Jacob Brown in. Our team are out. Yeah. 
from Laurent. Ignam will be happy with the response by his team. If they can get it to 10 or lower at half time, they have a chance in the second half. They can feed off the energy of this fantastic crowd in Dijon. 90 seconds remaining in the second. 57% for Dijon on the free throw line. Felney, jab steps, takes the three but misses. Holston with the rebound. Pearson, the loop played by Feldy, a long way outside the three point line. Pearson backing down all the way across, extra pass. Holston need to get the shot up, time running down. And a floater is short, and Owens has it and loses it because he tried to dribble out. Just get hold of the ball, especially as a big. Now they've got to make a decision. As that hit the top of the backboard, the referees are indicating no. If it's hit right at the top of the backboard, it would be no basket. That's really unfortunate for Holston and for Dijon. That's actually hit behind the back ball. That's hit the camera or the uh, construction for the 24 second clock. So, correct decision by the officials, and it's timeout. That's a switch. Stoudemire's highlights, scoring, getting out of tight situations. Eight points, two rebounds, two assists, but two turnovers. Oh, just doing a job, as he always did as a player. He's now 36, and he's still six foot ten and athletic and imposing. Certainly at this level of European basketball. But it's great that more and more top players, top teams are coming to the Basketball Champions League. 32 team regular season will be reduced to 16. For the round of 16, that'd be two. Two ties, aggregate scores, the same for the quarterfinals. And then the final four will be in May. Menu to be decided. Brown, they've gone a little bit cold here, uh, Jerusalem. One of the final four participating teams will host the final four, as it has happened in 2016-17 season, where Tenerife hosted it and won. And then last year, a fantastic, another fantastic final four event hosted in Athens by Ike. And they went on to win that as well, beating Monaco in the final. Jerusalem have their eyes on getting to the final four themselves and of course Jerusalem would be an amazing venue for that event if they were to make the final four but they'll be wanting to win this game do everything they can to win the group Micah leading by 11 against Antwerp Antwerp of course will finish fourth whatever happens in that result and inside, and Loom gets in behind to Sean Thomas. Could have been posterized there. Got under that alley oop pass. Loom was behind him. He just couldn't get up high enough to throw it down. Good look, though. Good intention. And Nimberger beat him. Oh, five down to Bamberg. Loom makes, 
against that one. Two or four from the line, six points and one rebound. And that stroke looked really good. Stayed on the line, held the follow through. So Jerusalem can have the last possession of the second quarter. They lead by 12. Jacobin Brown, Iliyahu with a screen rolling away. Owens is sent away as well. Brown wants to do it himself, turns, jump hook right at the buzzer, just short. He had a really good look, had a chance to extend the lead. It just fell short, but Jerusalem are in control. They've scored 50 points. Half-time score, Dijon 38, Jerusalem 50. Look at the game statistics. 74% from two, 46 from three. They've just heat, just cooled down a little bit. 21 rebounds, 13 assists. The assist slowed down a touch as well. And there's Amari Stoudemire. Chewing his gum, looking very relaxed. They've done their job. Points, leaders, rebound leaders, and assists. And there's the game leaders continued. Steals Le Loop with three. And there's the top scorers. Pearson, Loom and Webber for Dijon Butler, Thomas and Stoudemire for Jerusalem. So Jerusalem are now the Rep Basketball Champions League regular season highest scorers. And also the most field goals made. They needed 18 field goals to reach that tally and they've made 20 field goals this game at half time and they're also the number one in total rebounds grabbed in a basketball champions league regular season they needed 15 they've grabbed 22 already at half time so Records being broken, but the number one day, number one thing that Jerusalem want is to win this game. At the moment, with Ike looking in control of their game, it looks like they're going to be second in the group. And we'll leave you with the highlights. Hope you're enjoying the game. Do download the Basketball Champions League app. You're watching this live coverage of the Basketball Champions League on live basketball.tv. Don't go anywhere. We've got a really good one here in Dijon, France. See you very shortly.
Mesdames et Messieurs, en de passe à roulette
Welcome back to Dijon in France, where Jerusalem lead by 12. And doing everything they can to try and get first spot in this group. At the moment, Ica leading Antwerp 46-32. So if that's the case, they will finish second. And with Dijon losing, at the moment, if they do lose this game, they can finish sixth or seventh, and it's fifth and sixth that go into the FIBA Europe Cup. So it's important for Dijon uh, to continue playing as hard as they can here to try and get back in this game. It's only a 12 point deficit. If they can win, they will finish fifth. They lose, they could drop out of the FIBA Europe Cup spots to seventh if other results go against them. The teams directly below them, Lutzabilis and Zimberg, are both, uh, both losing as well. So coach, for the Toulon player to run in uh, France, away uh, uh, star. There's some good spells in that. In that half, where they really up the intensity. Delay Lou has come in, done some good stuff. Coach Katash is just going to keep his charges. The Jerusalem team on point. And keeping their energy and effort levels up. Just to remind you, if you're just joining us, Tamir Blatt is not here. As the crowd realised, they're on film and doing something suitable. Be careful. So, uh, they're having a great time. He was just about to kiss the young lady next to him. I think she's pleased that, I think, that... Uh, the camera went away. So great crowd in, Some great presentation here in Dijon. Doing well in the French Pro A, in fourth at 11 and eight. And Jerusalem right at the top of the Israeli Super League as well. And Jerusalem are right at the top at the summit, just below the summit in second of this Basketball Champions League group. So they will be progressing to the round of 16, which will take place once the last window of the FIBA World Cup qualifiers has taken place. And a really clever move. Wow, what a start to the third quarter. Look at this from Holston. There's the foul. He feels the contact comes almost underneath. Behind the backboard, he came in. Stepped around and just knocked it down. And Coach Legnam is asking the same question. It would have been quite a long continuation, but uh, nothing given. But they get the possession back, all knocked loose. And as Gavin Ware comes back in the game with the white headband there. Jerusalem in red and Dijon in white as Josh Owens goes behind the back through his legs. Eliyahu, Eliyahu all the way across to Jacobin Brown who shoots the shot, is in and out and where with the rebound and outlet to David Holston. 13.4 points a game Holston. And in and out for where? Great bounce pass and attack, and Eliyahu. A definite foul there. That's his second foul. Timor's already on three. Gavin Ware, 76.9% free throw shooter for the season coming into today. And makes his first. And his second. Good looking stroke there. So, Dijon strike the first blow of the second half. The lead is back to 10. Brown. Owens with a high screen. Across to Felding. 
Fielding, a runner and a floater, and it's good. Axel Julien to Emigano. Emigano grabbed as he attacked the basket by Fielding. Fielding closed out, but uh, Emigano just attacked him. Closed out to slightly to his left there, which opened up the lane towards the centre. Towards the key. That's first foul for Fielding. So no problems for him in the foul count at the moment. Holston finds Pearson. The other one we wanted to pick up. Third foul. Good spin and a block by Tashawn Thomas. Not here. Not now. He's out of bounds. Oh, he's just not able to hang on to that. Who's on the NBA G League with Kyron Brown, Pina Kasiaka. So they know each other well. He's playing on a really talented Jerusalem team. Ball's knocked out off a Jerusalem hand. Still a 12 point lead as it was at half time to Jerusalem. Holston again, just at 5 for 8 to get it over the top of the defence there. End line possession for Dijon. Axel Julien. Inside. Where can't get it to go. Eliahu. Good defensive rebound. To Sean Thomas. All the way back out to Jacobin Brown. Ten second on the shot clock. Jacobin Brown still. Still has it, still has it, and it's knocked out by Pearson. There just wasn't enough space for the pass. They've gone away from there. Making assists, still only, still 13 assists. Been stuck on that for a while. Thomas has a lovely pass, tip pass out, and he gets the offensive rebound. You need to grab 29 offensive rebounds to become the team with the highest amount of offensive rebounds in a basketball Champions League season. They're already the most, got the most points scored, and there we go, there's high flying. Josh Owens adding to the points total. The two ex teammates of Pinar Garciaca teaming up again here in Jerusalem to good effect. Pearson played on the outside by Eliyahu. Left hand attempt by Chasang. No good. Nearly lost to Sean Thomas. Catches and shoots. No good from deep. Pearson kicks it to Holston who attacks back to Pearson blocked by Tashawn Thomas Chabravich another turnover now they're gonna try again same player one against two what's he gonna do two against one will be better but that's pretty good it's a good second option Holston for three strange series of plays turnovers missed shots and then a three to finish. Jerusalem by 13. Felding, no way through there. Eliyahu, and another turnover. Holston in the passing lane. 
and another assist. Excel Julien, the recipient. No one getting back for Jerusalem. Coach Katash will not be happy. Coven Brown for three, just when Jerusalem needed a bucket. He responded. Holston, Chassang. Bravich should come over to help Pearson. Pulled up loose, but it's uh, illegally. So the sideline possession for Felvin, second foul, sideline possession for Dijon. Timor is in. Remember that Timor has got three fouls, so he's going to be careful. Felvin now. Halfway through the third. Hope you're enjoying basketball Champions League action. Julien, Dijon. Trying to do everything off the pass. Good player movement. Now the dribble attack. Pull up is good by Holston. And starting to really make things happen, David Holston. He's up to seven points, averaging over 13 points a game. He's up to nine points now, Holston. Timor to Jacobin Brown. Jurevich with the screen. Timor attacks, Timor, and it's out of bounds. Another turnover for Jerusalem. And back to a 12-point lead as we started this quarter. And Magano to Holston. Nice pass, and another pass. And a finish by Pearson. Three quick passes. Defense couldn't recover. Timeout, Jerusalem. That was a really good decision by Chassang there to make the passes. Stoudemire came over. Clear thinking by Dijon and. They get a clear advantage off the pass. Pearson actually came all the way round to the other side. That's a really tough move in the end to finish. But they got it. Let's listen to the Jerusalem timeout. Amare goes and see Lander and Dippel to post up Amare. Okay? And de trois, let's go. Dijon. Pearson starting to. With a good influence on this game, 15 points, no rebounds, one assist, two steals. The 10 down against the Israeli Super League power. And there's one of their most powerful players. And he's finally missed a shot. Stoudemire. It's three of five from the field. Holston all alone for three. He's really in the rhythm now. He's in a groove. Seven point lead, first time. They've been under double digits for a while now in deficit, Ohio. And they're just starting to force it, Jerusalem, off the dribble. It's not as smooth and as clinical as it was in the first half. Holston knocks down the three. 
two of five from behind the arc now, 12 points. Three rebounds, five assists, two steals. That's now Holston's third foul. They're gonna to wanna to keep him in while he's playing so well, but he's got to play smart now. Defense without fouling. Bartimor penetrates, kicks. And the three is good by Feldin. Such a top player for Hapol Jerusalem. Averaging 16.3 points a game. And he's up to 10, two of four from behind the arc. Ohio on Holston. And in the end, it's a good effort by Hyam, but he was being given the runaround. And in the end, he fouled. Good crossovers and rhythm steps side to side. And in the end, Hyam, not much contact, but enough. And Jerusalem are in the penalty. And that's his first free throw. He's shooting 81.2% from the free throw line up until this game. And he's nothing but net. He's really playing with a purpose. Is that purpose to take down Hapol Jerusalem, which would be a massive shock. And would help Dijon get into the FIBA Europe Cup for the remainder of the season. and just picked up his fourth foul. After doing so much good, he's now caused a real issue for his uh, team. They're gonna have to play without him, certainly for the remainder of this quarter and for a portion of the last quarter. So he's in there. For crunch time. Shots up, Timor for three is just off. A high end with the rebound, back to Felding. Back to Timor, he's wide open. That is a regulation shot all day for Bar Timor. He's averaging 3.1 points a game. He's up to eight above his average. Axel Julien inside. Nice finish with Studemeyer coming across for Chesang. Really good effort. And a 24-year-old, six to eight Frenchman. Back to eight points. Just coming down to 90 seconds remaining in the third. Shot clock is running really low. And a great left-handed finish by Yogev Ohio. That is great concentration. And again, just when Jerusalem needed it. 10-point lead for the team in red. Emigano hands off. Axel Julian back outside. Extra pass, left-hand dribble is in and out. Good play by Juravich, but then Emigano from the floor. Gets up the Nigerian international. He'll be playing in a couple of weeks time. Final window of the basketball World Cup qualifiers. And Ohio finishes that. Doesn't get the finish. Completely missed that. They can cut it to six or even five with a three here. D Dijon, they're giving real momentum going into the quarter. Finish, and they do finish. And great finish off the assist by Alexandra Chassang. Jerusalem will have the last they will have the last possession Dijon have fouls to give so quick foul by Emigano that's his first foul so smart play Dragovic comes out that's a couple of really good plays by Chasson Alexandre Trisson. And over the back. Great play. Talking about good play by Trisson. 
excellent play by Pearson then on the defensive end, just disrupting Jerusalem. Eight seconds remaining, and now Dijon can cut it to three with a three-pointer. Jerusalem just losing complete concentration here. Axel Julian will make the decisions to finish the quarter. Going back again to Chasson, and it's in, and it's good, and he will go to the line to reduce the arrears to three points. What a comeback by Dijon. Excellent team playing the last three times. They've gone to number 22, Alexandra Chasson. Does just that. Well, we've got a game on our hands now. Time runs out, and Feldin just misses the full court. So, a great third quarter by Dijon there. They win it 25 to 16. They win by nine. The deficit is three as we head to the last quarter. Dijon 63, Apol Jerusalem 66. Some of the stats there, 44% now for three. For Jerusalem, they've really... Reduced their percentages. Eight of 18 now for three, and 19 of 28 for two. They still lead, just. They've been in control of this game, but they're not completely in control of it now. On the back of that shot from Holston, and then Alexandre Chasson. Unfortunately, on the back of that play and two free throws, he's just committed his fourth foul, but he's just done fantastically well. 14 points. It's three of three from two, two of five from three. Three rebounds, five assists, two steals, but four fouls. So he will have to take a break. But without him, Chasson has really come to the party. They've got Axel Julian who can share the ball so well. And if Delay Loom has done a good job, Emma Garno is a live wire. So if they can, and Pearson has done really well. So if they can just hold the fall, stay close, or even maybe tie the game, as goes Katashe. Shows his frustration with the refs as they're not in control now. Momentum has swung the other way. Can Jerusalem come out strong to start this quarter? It's the final quarter. And it's regular season, game day 14, the final game day, the final set of games of the 2018-2019 regular season. And Stoudemire had it, lost it. And then it went out of bounds. Iker comfortably leading against Antwerp. Still in the third quarter there. Limburger losing to Bamberg. And to Billis and down against Fenlebrada. Fenlebrada are going to be finishing at the bottom of this group. Dijon have made a real fight of it. They can tie the game. And they do! Behind Axel Julian's three-pointer. Off the dribble, couple of dribbles, pull up. 66 apiece. Dijon are mustered since the second half has started. Inside, Stoudemire is fouled. Things will really heat up now. The temperature will rise in this building and Stoudemire will not want to lose this game. And normal Jerusalem, they won't want to finish the regular season with a loss. His perfect record at the line tonight. Those to three on. 
going to say three on three. He did play a year of three on three. He took a break. He's considering a return to the NBA. So uh, he's returned to Jerusalem. And they are happy, and we are very happy here. And the Basketball Champions League is a beneficiary of that. Great move. And unfortunately, with Stoudemire up in the air, Luke is a judge to have travelled. Last game that Jerusalem lost in the Basketball Champions League was against Ike at home. December the 11th, so they won't want to be losing tonight. But they've got a game on their hands. But Stoudemire has just started to take over. He's hit the two free throws. Chasson with the foul. Just, just brought himself into the too close to uh, Stoudemire and Stoudemire made, Stoudemire made the most of it. Brown got a problem getting it in, and he's not done it legally. Stoudemire came off the screen. That was that was turned down. Then there was no other option. There was no other movement off the off the inbounds. And then Felding was only could get his fingertips to it, which knocked it back. And that's a backcourt violation. That is poor from Jerusalem. Now Dijon with a three can take the lead. Abdelay Loom is in. He's been playing well for Dijon tonight. Axel Julian, extra pass. La Luke to take the lead. It's just short. Really good look. Felding, quick pass. Stoudemire. Good play by Loom. And he's got one in the face for his problems, but he's just going to stay on his feet to slow Barty Moore down. Jacobin Brown. Tashon Thomas with the high screen. Jacobin Brown step back is good. Nothing but net. That was all Jacobin Brown. And now the lead back up to four points after Dijon had tied it. And the Axel Julian three pointer. 60% from the field. That's just short this time. They've had their run. Can they make another one, Dijon? And push Jerusalem all the way here. Thomas inside, but another turnover. That was a great choice. They had him covered, Stoudemire. Now, all alone, he's short, kept alive. Back to Emigano. He had a really good look there. It could be Holston time very shortly just to bring that offensive punch to the team. Is good for Chasson. He is playing brilliantly for Dijon. Right place right time and a great one-handed bounce pass assist by Axel Julian. And there was another one-handed pass that time by Feldin to Thomas. Exchanging heavyweight blows here. Dijon and Jerusalem. Certainly made it very interesting. Now, Timor will not let Axel Julian get a look. He's right on his shoulder, on his hip as he turns the corner. And here comes Holston. 6.38, remember that time when he came back in. Can he have the same impact? He's only got one foul left to give. Here's some more highlights of Stoudemire, and he's being surrounded. Now, that's great defense. Chasson is having a really good battle, something he can remember and take with him going forward. He's fought against Stoudemire and he's, he's not come out second best. He has competed with the NBA All-Star and uh, NBA legend, Mari Stoudemire. Holston, can he recover, return to where he was? 
before he had to sit down with four fouls. And I've just answered my own question. Well, Holston has. Holston for three off the dribble. One point game. Jerusalem with the slight advantage. Iliahu, can he bring some calmness to proceedings? The push pass. Feldin is good. And he stands tall and holds his follow through. What a game. What a competition the Basketball Champions League is. Feldin up to 16 points, which is his average. Holston looking again. They can't leave him. Shots up. And it's long by way out. And to Sean Thomas with the rebound. Jerusalem can give themselves just a bit of breathing space with another score here. And Eliyahu caught up in the air. Ball's loose. And Dijon have it. Great effort by Ware and Emigano. It's a sloppy play, play again by Jerusalem. 15 turnovers now for the Jerusalem outfit. Just five turnovers for Dijon, so they've done a good job there. Stoudemire comes out. Jerusalem have a four-point lead, and Owens is in, and Ohio is in. Feldin sits, so let's see how these changes affect things in Eliyahu. Coven Brown. Ohio. And the shot clock had run out. They weren't aware of it. They just kept passing. That's a mental breakdown by Kapol Jerusalem. Now Dijon with Holston on the floor. La Loop. Abdelai Loom. And where? Really caught that deep, and Ohio wanted to foul him before he could turn and get a potential score. One, two, three, two, Inside to where left hand fakes and scores and one really good spin move got josh owens up in the air and once he felt the contact just went up and finished the play finished with his right hand from the left but the foul had been committed and owens couldn't stop him Two of two so far tonight, where And he's just missed that. But it's a two-point game, less than five minutes remaining. It's the last regular season game day, the last regular season set of games for the 2018-2019 season. And a great steal by Ware. Here comes Holston, pulls back for three. Oh, my goodness! What a shot! The smiles tell you it all. Dijon have taken the lead. Timeout, Jerusalem. Quite extraordinary by David Holston, but it's a team effort with the steal first. He attacks, he pulls back. Eliyahu couldn't recover. And it's three point heaven for David Holston. He has been superb for this Dijon team. And it's great to see that he's even smiling at himself, saying, how good am I at the moment? How long can it last for Dijon? Can they beat Jerusalem and book their spot in the FIBA Europe Cup? We will find out here on LiveBasketball.tv. And there's some worried Jerusalem fans, because they have led for the whole of this game until now. James, you fake like you come get end up and you go up there. We post up, Jamie. Yes. Excellent effort by Dijon with the assist. They've almost called Jerusalem up. Jerusalem has stalled 
obviously not making shots, but doing maybe more off the dribble. And Dijon have really started to peak. As I say, doing well domestically. They have a good team, a good mix of players, and David Holston. From Pontiac, Michigan, went to Chicago State College. It's his second spell at Dijon, and how happy they are he's come back. He was here 2015 to 2017. Pinar Karsiaka, another Basketball Champions League team from previous seasons, it was his first pro contract. And now he's back at Dijon, and they lead by one. Jacobin Brown deciding to go himself, and he's gone straight at Holston. And Holston now has committed his fifth foul. And maybe they should have just taken him out of the firing line there. Because, look, he's playing him really tight. He's, and now he's tried to reach, and that's not the smartest play from Holston. He will reflect on that. He just kept his hands up or switched with somebody so somebody else was on the ball. Because he's their most influential player. Now, somebody else, can they step up without him? Jacobin Brown doing the same thing. And what a move by Jacobin Brown. That is tough. He's just taking it on himself. Averaging 8.4 points a game. Good cross-court pass. Emma Garnu back for three to Axel Julian, but just not the range and the consistency that Holston had started hitting his, hitting his three-pointers with. Now Jacobin Brown is miles out! And he ends up on his back, and that is an extraordinary response. And that is why Hapol Jerusalem are at the top of this group and potentially are going to be favourites to win the whole thing this season. What a response. What a game. Timeout, Dijon. Just when you play, don't try to seal the ball. You are good on the legs of it. If you try to seal, you can have a fun, stupid fun. Okay, it's good. After I start shot. Now Obi is good at four pass, don't shoot. Hey! Four minutes, guy. Oh, hey! Hey, it's a touch shot! Same defense! One fall to give. Same D. Good pass, Gavin, it's good. Next call. Turn down. Okay, Gavin. Obi, Jeremy, P. You know, good scream, Obi. Accept fake. Give a scream. Dive. Okay. Okay. Obi. Attack. Hey! Entertainment continues at Dijon. And the crowd are loving that, and they're loving this game. And what a response from Dijon. They've not led until that Holston three. And now he's just got fouled out. Cogan Brown saying, I'll take it. And I guess he was hoping that Holston would take the challenge of trying to guard him. And then Holston just reached around trying to grab the ball and uh, he's having to sit and watch his teammates who now are four points down. And they come again. Can somebody else be a hero? Axel Julian. Baseline drive and the ball is loose. Axel Julian again. Emigano. Emigano is fouled. Jerusalem have one more foul. Another foul to give before they get into the team fouls. That's a uh, foul on Ohio. Foul in the Nigerian international, Emma Garner. This is full foul, Ohio. This is first free throw of the night when he's made it. 66.7% from the line for the season. Desperate to make this one, which he does. Now that's two down. What a game. The drums are playing. They're playing loud and proud here in Dijon in France. Basketball Champions League action. Brown can't leave him open from anywhere. Oh my god! 
goodness, Jacoba Brown is on fire. He's taken this game over for Jerusalem. That's two threes and a two back to back for the team in red. Five point lead, two possession game. Gavin Ware fakes, steps through, misses. Pearson, Julian is good for three! What a game! One team is good, the next team is good, and then both teams are great. Jacoba Brown, is he going to go again? High screen from Tashawn Thomas. Dribbles right, spins back to his left. Jump hook, in and out. Dijon, the underdogs, can take the lead again with a three. Two minutes remaining in the quarter, potentially in the game, unless we need overtime. Axel Julien to where? Shot clock running down. Pearson, Nemiganu takes the two pointer. It's long. And Jerusalem with Jacoba Brown just walking the ball up the court. What a performance by Brown. He attacks, kicks. Ohio, they're just running this clock down. They're leading by two. Thomas, shot clock really running down. Does he realize? Yes, he does. Ball's loose. That is great defense. But again, they just didn't get into anything. They didn't get into a set. And Coach Katash is not happy at all. It's not how he would have played it. The Eurobasket top scorer from 1997. Oh, and a turnover costly by Julianne. And Jerusalem can finish with a dunk by James Felding. Such an unfortunate slip. But it's a game of fraction, especially tonight. You could see what he was trying to do. He got past his defender. Just trying to drop the ball inside to where. Under a minute remaining. The loop off the backboard is good. Still plenty of time remaining. Two-point lead for Hapo World Jerusalem. That's the loop's first two points. Average is 5.7 points. Now Felding, they've got an embarrassment of riches, almost Jerusalem, with who can take control of a game. Stoudemire has done it. Felding's doing it there. And Jacob Brown was up to 13 points. Took over just before. They exploded with a couple of threes and a big two. Now, what can Jerusalem do now? Step back three is misses everything. Now they can take the last shot pretty much. They can run it down. A two will tie, a three will win it for Dijon, and they will definitely book their ticket to the FIBA Europe Cup. Julien, no good, and time expires. He kept it the whole time. The defense collapsed. There were other options, but Axel Julian did not take them or didn't see them. And Jerusalem, hang on. No foul called at the end. I'm sure that's what Laurent Legnan is saying. But what heartbreak for Dijon in the end. They have played a heroic game. Julian had Teshon Thomas right on in there. Could have maybe just dropped it off to Gavin Ware or kicked it out to Emigano, but he didn't. He went for the goal himself, for the basket himself. Dijon lose by two, 83 to Dijon. Jerusalem, 85. Ica leading by seven with four minutes remaining in the fourth quarter there. Doesn't, so it may not make any difference if I win. The positions will remain the same. Jerusalem will go into 
the round of 16 as a second team in this group. So they will play a third place team from the adjoining group. And there's Chasong, he was it, one of the heroes of tonight. Did so much for the team, but they just fell short. There's the shooting statistics, 70, 50, and 100% for Jerusalem. 56, 35, 76% from two, three, and three throws for Dijon. Holston was a brilliant player tonight, a hero who just hit shot after shot after shot in the second half to give Dijon the lead in the end, but then he got fouled out, and they just didn't quite have enough to see off Jerusalem. They had a shot to win it, but it didn't quite come off for the French team. Here's the game leaders in points. Rebounds, Holston, the top scorer for Dijon with 20. And Feldin with 18, top scorer for Jerusalem, as he has been for the majority or most of this season. Top scorers going through as well, the top three scorers on each team. But heartbreak for Dijon. They fought so hard in the crowd. They love this team. They've had a great time tonight. They've seen a very strong Apple Jerusalem team with just Tamir Black missing. They've seen an NBA all-star and legend in Amari Stoudemire in the flesh. And he has helped Jerusalem to hang on. And here's some of the highlights. And Axel Julian was brilliant. Great shot, couple of dribbles, pull up, leaning in slightly, and then just great passes. Superb arc on that shot. By Chesson. The loop inside there to where, and that was a nice, just hesitation. He just had to hesitate before he went up to get Owens to jump. And that was good enough. Is the steal and watch this by Holston going forward. No, he's not come back. That is a high tariff, high energy, and high entertainment shot. And everybody was smiling on the back of that. But Holston got fouled out shortly after. But it's worth another look. That's just beautiful to, to just stay that low. And that's where it helps to be five for eight. He's just got Eliyahu right off in there. And even though Eliyahu's who's bigger, he couldn't get back. And look at Jacobin Brown here. He ended up on his back. And he's just kept Jerusalem far enough ahead. Casual as you like. Great arc on that shot too, to get it over La Loupe, who was closing him down. But it's been another victory for Jerusalem. The only team... They've only lost two games, one of those to Ike. They have been dominant. The team they lost to in this group was Antwerp. 101-89 back in October. But they will finish the group as second place. And they will go into the round of 16. Dijon will go into the FIBA Europe Cup. Hope you've enjoyed the coverage. The final game day of the Basketball Champions League. Regular season is over. Good night. Enjoy the rest of your evening.